Hello everyone, I welcome you all to uh, today's session wherein we will be discussing a question of cat level difficulty. Uh, the objective of uh, this series of uh, videos is uh, to uh, give you exposure of different topics, different uh, difficulty levels uh, of questions. So today in the same uh, thought I brought forward question from the geometry area, circles geometry area. So you can just pause the screen right now and uh, try out the question and see which of the options uh, does your answer, answer match with. All right? So you can take around 3-4 minutes, all right? pause the screen, 3-4 minutes you attempt it and after 3-4 minutes, don't take more than that because uh, timed preparation is very very critical when it comes to uh, your uh, CAT examination and other such competitive exams. So after 3-4 minutes, please resume the video. I however will be continuing the discussion here. So the question says in the figure that we have here, O is the center of the circle. So circle is this as we see, O is the center. Angle OED, angle OED which is highlighted here is 70 degree. Angle OCD, this one, 65 degree. Now the question is find CAE, we have to find this angle. What is this angle going to be? So let's try to think about ways of getting to the answer in this case, let's think about it. So if I for example connect O with D, let's connect this. So when you connect O with D, now can I say the triangle OED is going to be an isosceles triangle? Yes, because this is radius, OE is radius, OD is also radius, it's going to be an isosceles triangle. And in an isosceles triangle, angles opposite to equal sides will be equal. So if this is 70, this is also going to be 70. We may say this. Next, similarly, similarly, please note that in triangle ODC, this is also isosceles, same logic. This is radius, OD is radius, OC is also radius. Thus, angles opposite to equal sides will be equal. So, if this is 65, this is also going to be 65. And since sum of angles in a triangle, sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree, can I say in triangle OED, if two of the angles are 70 each, the missing, the remaining angle will be 40 degree. So this angle EOD, can I say will be 40 degree, right? Similarly, angle COD can be calculated as, this will be 50 degree, right? 65 and 65 is 130, 180 minus 130 will be 50 degree. So this part is 40 and this part is 50, so overall it's 90 degree. But the question is about, the, but the question that we have here is about angle CAE, which is this angle. Now think about it, how can we get this angle, this part of the angle? So the way in which we can think of getting to the answer here is, notice, notice that if, the, if, if you look at the angle subtended by, if you look at the angle subtended by, this chord ED at the center, it is 40 degree, right? This is 40 degree. If the angle subtended by a chord at the center is theta, then angle subtended by the same chord anywhere else on the center, on the same side, on the same side, will be just a minute. For example, this angle this is going to be half of that angle, theta by 2. Or in reverse, if angle subtended by a chord or an arc anywhere on the circle is theta, angle at the center will be twice of that, 2 theta. Right? Now look at this, angle EOD we know is 40 degree. So let's see what will happen if I connect, let's connect A with D, let's connect like this. So when I connect A with D, can I write, if angle AOD, EOD is 40 degree, can I say angle EAD, okay, which is the angle subtended by the same chord anywhere on the circle will be half of this, correct? Similarly, angle COD is 50 degree. So that means angle subtended by the same chord at A, that is this angle, this angle, this one, this entire angle. Angle DAC, can I say will be half of this 25 degree. And now what do we want? We want this angle and this angle. Angle EAC is what is being asked. And thus can I say angle EAC will be nothing but angle EAD plus angle DAC. I hope this is clear. 
this will be 20 and 25 the sum which will give us the answer as 45 degrees option choice A. so here the moment i connect a with d things would be pretty clear with respect to what angles do we want and what are their measurements i hope we are clear with this question so with this we have come to the end of the video today for more such videos uh, i would uh, suggest you uh, to subscribe to this channel right uh, and share this video in your uh, friend circle to people who you know right who are preparing for cat or any other such competitive exams right uh, because uh, my idea my my intention is i'm sure that these kind of videos are going to definitely help in their preparation so on that note let me end the session here thank you and all the very best